Hey, what's up, family? It's your girl, Lolita, here on God's Development Plan. Y'all, I had to jump on here and glorify God real quick. He just blew my mind. I had a dream about a month ago. I was standing in like a circle of teenagers. They were high school students or junior, whatever. I knew they were all teens. And I was like, why are they all standing around me? And I thought that God was saying to me, oh, I need you to go work in a school or something because I know I already have a a mentee that I'm working with in high school and stuff with art things. But I thought God was telling me, oh, you need to go. You're going to be in a school or something. And you guys, I kid you not, this was like a month ago. I just was standing in a circle of teenagers. I, you guys, you Guys, I was just standing in a circle of teenagers. It was literally like the the prophetic dream he gave me, it was fulfilled. The reason I'm telling you this is because I was coming from the grocery store and I was driving by the Starbucks near my house and there was teenagers playing football in a little open piece of field within the parking lot, within that area of the parking lot. And I was like, there are so many kids, I said, Man, I was driving by, but I was like, you know what? Let me not pass by these kids. Let me see if I could just do a dedication prayer um, to Jesus with these kids, you know, because this this too many souls to just pass by. So I go because I'm like, nah, that would be wrong, you know, and I go and I ask the kids. I introduce myself first and I, you know, kind of interrupted their football game. But I said, hey, I'm just going to take a couple of seconds with you guys. And I said, you know, raise your hand. I asked first, who believes in Jesus? All the kids raised their hand. That blessed my heart. They all believed in Jesus. So, and they raised it quickly. It wasn't like a thing where, oh, let me think about this. It was like, of course. It was almost like matter of factly, yes, I believe in Jesus. Good job on that, parents. That's good. So I was like, ooh, great. So I was like, let me pray with the kids and just, you know, they believe. Let's make pray that they dedicate to Jesus because they already believe in him. Amen. And if they didn't, we was going to get them to that point. But as I began to pray, I had to restart the prayer three times. More kids came and the kids were like, let's get some more. Hey, there's some more kids. Bring them in. The kids themselves were evangelizing without realizing it because they were like, let's bring some more kids. Let's bring some more kids. And I was like, sure. And I restarted. And I was like, okay, now we got everybody. And you guys, it's like, I didn't, it didn't hit me until I was done praying. I looked around and I was, cause it, it, I was standing in my literal dream that God had shown me about a month ago. I was standing in prophecy being fulfilled. Have you ever caught yourself standing in prophecy being fulfilled? I looked around and I'm like, oh my gosh, I'm in a circle of teenagers. This is exactly what I saw. I thought I was at a school. I'm at Starbucks. Mm -hmm. That was the closest place by. That's where I was really at. I was like. And why I'm feeling so emotional about it is because I felt like I was on the wrong track. And I'm just like, God, I I was in this place mentally and spiritually where I was like God am I doing the right thing God am I doing the right thing you know what I mean where you you're like you're not yet seeing what you're hoping to see so you're almost questioning like God am I out of alignment you know and for for God to show me that today and if God hadn't revealed I would have missed it I was standing in it and would have missed it because it wasn't the way I expected it to be I thought God was going to have me in somebody's high school or something, which I probably still will be. I can just feel it. But doing probably as some kind of outsource or outreach something. But you guys, it wasn't the way I expected it. It wasn't how I expected the word of God to be fulfilled. And and this was something he'd shown me in a dream. Like I said, a month prior, it was so real. I felt joy in the dream. It was like something good. But I was just surrounded with teenagers. I'm like, why am I surrounded with kids? What's going on? And I'm really thinking I'm going to be at a school. And lo and behold and behold and lo, I was at Starbucks. And I want to encourage somebody that 
God works, how the old folks used to say, God works in mysterious ways, he really does. He doesn't do it the way we think it's gonna be done. I don't care what you're praying for, what you're hoping to see happen, don't you dare give up. Be encouraged. Don't you dare think for a second that just because it's not being done the way you think that it's not being done. Because I really would have been like, Lord, am I out of alignment? I was so down because I'm like, I feel like I must be doing something wrong, especially because I, I kind of made a different adventure. Um, just trying to get closer with God and trying to like get into a more intimate place with him. I kind of went into a solitude kind of spot you know and um I was just like God am I wrong am I leading myself astray have I done something and for God to like bring it to my understanding once the prayer was over like nah you're standing right where I told you you would be standing a month ago this where you supposed to be at right here today right now it blows my mind and I just had to give God the glory because only God, only God, only the God of the Holy Bible, I ain't talking about Allah, I ain't talking about nobody else, I'm talking about Jesus, I'm talking about my Lord and Savior, only God could orchestrate these kind of things, y'all. There's no way I could have saw I couldn't I couldn't have seen that coming in a million years. I've never seen kids playing over there. I've never been over there at that time. Never have I been there at that time that I was today. God had it ordered. God had it ordered. Ah there's something that is in your life that you might not think you're in alignment. And mind you, that wasn't the thing I was praying for. It's just something he showed me. And it's a, it, it shows that I'm in his path. It shows that I'm walking the right way. You see what I'm saying? That I'm going in the right direction. That's why I'm so encouraged by that. It wasn't that I was praying for that situation to happen. Not that it, it's good, but... There's some other things I've been praying for. But what but, but God's showing me that is that if I keep going the way I'm going, I'm going to get there. So I want to tell you, sometimes you might feel like you just walk in the craziest way. You might be asking yourself, oh my goodness, what am I doing? What am I doing? Is this going to work for me? When you're doing something where you feel like you're flying by the seat of your pants and you're genuinely, it's like, hey, I'm literally just trusting God. I don't know what's happening here. I'm literally trusting God and watch God step in because that's that's where I've been. I'm like, OK, God, I'm going to have to trust you in all things. I can't trust you with this and not with that. I'm going to have to trust you with all things. So for God to show me that today, I'm just blown away, you guys. I'm just beside myself because to see that dream. It just blew my mind. I was like, wow, God, I wasn't expecting that. And I didn't even see it until it was over. How many things has God, how many things has God shown you that have come to pass and you don't even think God is speaking to you, but it's not that he's not speaking. You missed it. Woo! My prayer, Lord Jesus, for my brother and sister under the sound of my voice right now. And I include myself, Father God, because I need it too. I missed it just then had you not said anything. Lord, I pray that you will bring back to remembrance the things that we asked you for and you did. And we think it never happened. We think something never came to pass. Even the dreams that you gave us at night, God, by day, by morning, the visions, whatever, the prophetic words, God. And you have brought that thing to pass. And all we need to do is realize. In Jesus Christ's name I pray. Amen. Keep walking. Keep going. Don't you give up. God is answering prayers. God is moving on our behalf. He's bringing us into alignment. And a lot of times when we feel the most out of place, it might be when you actually the most in place than you've ever been. My God. Woo! That just moved me, y'all. All right. It's your girl Lolita here on God's Development Plan. And shout outs to daughter of David Art on Instagram. Love y'all. Bye. God's Development Plan on YouTube, by the way. <laughs> I am at the beach so you might hear wind you might hear waves but you guys I'm just so excited God God is so good you guys he just encouraged me so much and I just want to really quickly say that sometimes when you feel you're most unstable is actually when you're in the right place sometimes when you feel like everything is so wrong you're actually exactly where you need to be 
And it just makes me think about that scripture where Paul is talking about how Jesus first had to descend before he could ascend. And it's the same thing with us. We have to descend before we can ascend. Just like the woman with the issue of blood in the scripture, right? She descended and touched the hem of Jesus's garment and she got a blessing. Come on, be encouraged.